The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University. I mentioned that there's a third kind of analogy, biological or cultural ones. Um, and for this, I would like to do a little exercise, um, which comes back to uh, the question the gentleman with a cool hair head who also moved somewhere else or isn't here right now. Anyway, um, this was about how can we... Uh, <coughs> I would like to classify some dimensions with you. Uh, so let's think about physical dimensions, very general, um, that we could control with the user interface. What kind of physical dimensions can you guys think of? You can just, just shout out a couple and I'll write them down. Temperature. I heard somebody say temperature. Right. So I'll write down temperature. Temperature. Okay. More like this. Volume. Thank you. More. Position. <coughs> okay. Light. Um, Okay, light intensity. Good. Hmm. What's that? Flow of water, for instance. Water flow. Uh, what do you mean? The direction or the amount of water flow? Or? The amount in a bathtub, for instance. The, the what? In a bathtub or in a shower. The amount of water which comes out of the Ah, bathtub. okay, yeah. Amount of, yeah. Amount of water flow, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm being uh, specific here. Um, for a reason, yes. Speed, okay. This pen sucks. Speed, ah, now we got black, look at that. What's that? Pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> I like pleasure, I'll go over here. Okay, and now what did you actually say? Pressure, pressure, pressure. okay. Pleasure is much better. <laughs> All right, more, a couple more? Color. color, color, excellent, thank you. All right, that should be enough. Um, anybody got an idea why I made these two lists? Ignore pleasure for the moment. Um, what's the difference between those and those? Yeah. The right one, the right one are the renewable. The things you can see with your eyes. Ah, uh, light intensity. I can see with my eyes. I don't know about you. So it's not. No, it's not visible versus not visible. Yeah. The left ones are one-dimensional, whereas the right ones are probably multi-dimensional, like position. Yes. Dimensional color. You can see colors RGB, so you also have multi-dimension. Right. So it, dimensionality has one thing to do with it. But I'll I'll put something else here. Uh, it'll go sort of in between uh, audio pitch, right, of a, of a signal. That's still one dimensional, but it doesn't quite fit this list as nicely as, as the other ones. So yes, these are all one dimensional, and that is in fact one necessary requirement for being in this list, but there's something more, which pitch doesn't quite fulfill. It's kind of hard to see, uh, so I'll, 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 I'll tell you. Um, or maybe you will tell me. Relative versus absolute values? Mm, no, 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 it's not relative because you can always have relative measurements or absolute measurements with all of those. Uh, yeah? Maybe there are not bounds to any limits? No limits. Um, nope, that's also not the, no. The pitch, I mean, theoretically could also go really high or really low. Uh, I'll give you guys two more guesses, and then I'll, I'll tell the answer, yeah. Uh, maybe the left side is on a scale. Left side is on a scale. We're getting there. That is, that is yes, that is related to what I'm thinking about. And what about you? Uh, One-dimensional one versus, versus multidimensional? Well, yeah, like I said, this is a requirement for being on this list, but that's not everything. <laughs> so... All right, cool hat. Last, last answer. Maybe um, the, the way we perceive it, because we can, um, well, temperature, it, temperature can um, deal with its hot, with its cold, with its cold. Mm -hmm. Red, red color, we can see many 
millions of colors. That's very close to what I'm thinking about, actually. Uh, actually, very good answer. All those, we will probably all agree which way is more and less. So more pressure, less pressure. Higher temperature, lower temperature. If you think about a control, a, a slider, or a, or a visualization for any of these values, it's always obvious what will go up and what will go down. You know, volume, light intensity, bright is up, you know, dark is down. Amount of water flow, right? More water flow, more speed, less speed. So all of these are what we call additive dimensions. Um, so they are easy to arrange in a sort of less, more uh, kind of way. We all kind of intuitively agree. Which of course means if you have any of those kind of values to display in an interface or to control in an interface, nature is giving you the perfect you know, mapping right there, you know, up and down. Everybody will agree on that. Whereas uh, you said with color, there's millions of colors I can see, and that is actually there is no such thing as, is this, is this like you know, light red? Is that more than a dark green or less than a dark green? It's a multidimensional thing, so that's one requirement. But it also is something where we don't really have, even in these various dimensions, is red more than green? Oh, people could argue with wavelengths, but that doesn't make intuitive sense to us. right? That's a very, very technical explanation. It won't make sense to people. Um, <coughs> so same with position. right? With position on a map, What's more or less, you know, northeast or southwest? Hmm. Um, so those things are, are units that you cannot easily map to an, a more or less interface, a more or less controller, slider, display. I put audio pitch in the middle because it's one dimensional, but, and most people would probably say, well, higher pitch is more, lower pitch is less, right? It seems obvious. But then if you run studies with people, and you play various sounds to them, and you ask them which one is more or less to you, which one would you put up on a scale, and which one would you put down on a scale, sometimes the more deep, resonant, full sounds, which are lower in frequency, will be perceived as more because they sound like a bigger object than you know, tiny little high-pitched uh, squeaks. So people, some, some people will use a different mapping for pitch. You know, well, deeper pitch will actually be perceived as more. Uh, so it's not as obvious as we might might think with this one, but those are the uh, those are the uh, sort of biological analogies um, where you know there's clearly a rising level or a falling level for all these additive dimensions, um, <coughs> but they don't work for things like uh, the substitute dimensions, you know, like color, audio, pitch, or taste. You know, is bitter more than sweet. Um, um, location we had that there um, as, as position. So yeah, you actually captured um, pretty much exactly our, our list here. This content was provided by RWTH, Aachen University.